Hi everyone, welcome to Bharti Yoga, I am Bharti. Today we'll be learning how to do Halasana or the Plow Pose. This is one of my favorite asanas which I include in my daily practice. It also has a lot of health benefits like calming the nervous system, inducing hormonal balance, as well as toning the abdominal organs. It is of course a slightly advanced inversion and requires a fair amount of flexibility in the hamstrings and the spine. So today we'll be doing some preparatory poses that will help you to work your way towards Halasana. Once you're ready, let's hop onto the mat and get going. We will start by coming into a tabletop position with your hands under your shoulders and knees below the hips. As you inhale, let your belly drop and curl your spine as you gaze up. Then as you exhale, suck your navel in and round your spine as you gaze towards your belly. Let's repeat this a few times. Inhale, curl up. Exhale, round the back. Again, inhale, curl up. Exhale, round the back and feel the shoulder blades widening. Let's do two more of these. Feel the entire spine opening up with each breath. Very good and come back to neutral. Now curl your toes in, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, push your hands and feet into the ground and lift your hips up to come into a downward facing dog or Adho Mukhswanasana. Let's straighten just the left leg first and breathe deeply into the stretch you feel at the back of the left leg. Then straighten just the right leg. Let's walk the dog a few times to start warming up the hamstrings. Finally, straighten both the legs and bring the heels to the ground if possible. Slowly walk your feet in and come into an easy forward fold. You can grab opposite elbows. Just hang here for a few breaths, letting the weight of your head pull you down. Then bring your hands to the floor and heel toe your feet wide apart to prepare for Prasarita Padottanasana. As you inhale, straighten your back to come into a half fold. As you exhale, fold all the way down, keeping the spine long. Elongate your tailbone, extending it towards the sky. Breathe into the stretch in your hamstrings. Very good. Then slowly bend your knees and bring the hips down to come into a full squat or malasana. Bring your hands to the heart center and push your knees out with your elbows. You can swing side to side to get that extra opening in the hips. See what feels nice. Then bring your hips down and spread both your legs out in front of you. Try to take them as wide as possible. Using your hands, try to find your sitting bones and ground them into the mat. Extend your spine, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, bring the left hand to the right thigh and twist to the right. Keep the back straight and come back. Again, inhale and as you exhale, twist to the left and come back. Again, take a deep breath in and as you exhale, bring the left hand to the right toe and take the right arm back. Breathe into the stretch in your right hamstrings. If you cannot take your hands to the toes, just keep them on the right shin or the mat. Mm -hmm. 
then turn to the other side and bring the right hand to the left toes keep both the feet flexed come back let's do this opposite leg toe taps 5 times every time you exhale bend forward inhale come back exhale bend forward inhale come back keep going last one very good now bend sideways to take the left hand close to the right toes push the right thigh with the right elbow and keep your chest open to look up towards the ceiling inhale come back exhale and bend to the left side and come back let's do these side to side stretches four more times keep the knees straight and the feet flexed don't fall forward last one finally as you inhale straighten your spine and then as you exhale start walking your hands forward to come into a seated wide legged forward bend or upavishta konasana it is okay if you can't go all the way down with every inhale extend your spine and then as you exhale walk your hands a bit out you can keep moving your feet forward and back to avoid any cramping in legs this is great for stretching the inner thighs and calves slowly come back and bring the legs together in front make sure your toes are flexed towards you then bring the left foot to the base of the right thigh as you inhale raise your arms over your head as you exhale bend forward bring the hands to the toes and keep your back straight folding from the hips inhale straight in your spine exhale fold forward leading with your chin again take a breath in and as you exhale try to fold all the way down slowly come back up Let's switch legs and do it for the other side. Inhale, extend the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Keep breathing and try to keep the back straight. Again, inhale and exhale, try to go all the way down. slowly come up now let's try to do this with both the legs extended at front inhale raise your arms up exhale bend forward feel the fold from your hip joints stretch out your arms and let them reach the furthest they can inhale elongate your spine exhale try to go a bit further forward Now we'll do some dynamic rolls to get an idea of what halasana feels like. Come back and bring your hands next to the hips. Slowly roll back, lifting your legs and hips. Roll back up and try to touch your toes again. Again, roll back down. Let's keep doing these front and back rolls a few times. Try to keep your legs straight. Remember to keep exhaling when you are bending forward. last one in the next roll back try to stay there and bring your hands up to support your lower back keep your feet as high as it is comfortable without straining the neck then slowly bring the hips down and lower the legs all the way to the ground very good now that we know the feeling of halasana let's try to do it properly with some support Place a steady stool or a chair about one arm distance away from your head. Bring your feet together 
and keep your hands on either sides of the hips. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, start lifting the legs up. Bring them to 90 degree angle. Then taking the support of your hands, lift the hips up and start lowering the legs over the head. Fold your arms to support your lower back with the palms. Keep your legs straight and try to bring your feet to the chair and firmly rest them there. Keep extending the legs, trying to push the heels away. Stay here and breathe. As you get comfortable here over time, you can start sliding the stool away and walk your feet further down to finally bring them to the floor. Once you get comfortable here, you can even try lowering your hands and trying to clasp the hands together to bring the elbows closer. Then slowly lower the hips down and bring back the feet on the ground. I will now show you a variation of the supported halasana in case you are not able to lift your hips up initially. Lie down close to a wall with your hips almost touching the base of the wall and legs extended straight up. Keep the stool about an arm's distance away from the head. Then bring the soles of the feet on the wall and start walking the feet up. Bring the hands up to support the lower back. Once you are stable here, take one feet back and place it on the stool followed by the other. Stay here for a few breaths. Then slowly bring the feet back on the wall and lower your hips down. Very good. Let's do a quick counter pose for Halasana. Lie on your back with your legs straight. Tuck your hands under your hips. Then push your elbows down and lift your torso to look towards the feet. Drop your head back. Keep the crown of your head on the ground and arch your back. Keep breathing deeply and slowly here. This is Matsyasana or the fish pose and it is great counter pose for Halasana. Now slowly come back up taking support of your elbows and lie down in Shavasana. Hope you found this video helpful and will keep practicing your way towards the full Halasana. I'll see you next week with a new video. Till then, bye-bye.